Hello my friends, my name is Alex and welcome to Cities for All. In this video we're gonna talk why sustainable transportation is important for cities and how to make cities more healthy and livable by alternative modes of transportation. Let's go! And we will start from public transport, which can give lots of benefits to your city. And these benefits are next. Reduced traffic congestion. Lots of people drive cars every day not because they like it, but just because there is no other ways for them to get where they need. And uh, by providing a viable alternative to driving, public transportation can help to reduce traffic congestion on roads. Lower carbon emissions. Public transportation is generally more energy efficient and produces fewer emissions per capita compared to personal vehicles, which helps to reduce air pollution and mitigate the impact of climate change. Cost savings. Using public transportation can be a more affordable option compared to owning and operating a personal vehicle, especially in areas with high costs of living and transportation. Saving urban land The more people will use public transportation, the less parking spaces you will need on their destination points. So you can create public spaces and plant trees instead of it, which will make your city much more comfortable. Increased accessibility Public transportation can provide access to jobs, education and other essential services for people who cannot afford a personal vehicle or are unable to drive. It will make the city much fairer. Reduced dependence on foreign oil Public transportation reduces demand for oil and supports energy independence. Improved quality of life Public transportation can enhance livability by reducing noise and air pollution, creating more public spaces and improving the overall environment of cities. So, as you can see, public transportation is very important for making your city healthy. You just can't go without it. And as Enrique Peñalosa said, an advanced city is not the one where even the poor use cars, but rather one where even the rich use public transport. Next part of healthy city is cycling. Why do we need it? Improved health. Cycling is a form of physical activity that can improve cardiovascular health, strengthen muscles and reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as obesity, diabetes and heart disease. Cost savings. Cycling is a low-cost mode of transportation that can save money on transportation costs compared to owning and operating a personal car. From the other side, cycling infrastructure is the cheapest way to move people inside the city. Reduced traffic congestion Cycling can help to reduce traffic congestion on roads, particularly during the peak hours. The more people on bikes, the less cars in the traffic jams. Lower carbon emissions. Cycling is a zero emissions mode of transportation that produces no pollution and helps to mitigate the impact of climate change. Increased accessibility. Cycling is cheap, so everyone can use it to get to their jobs, education and other services. That's very important for people who cannot afford a personal car or are unable to drive. Improved quality of life. Cycling can enhance livability by reducing noise and air pollution, creating more public spaces and improving the overall environment of cities. Increased independence. Cycling also provides a degree of independence and self-reliance, as well as the opportunity to explore new areas and experience the outdoors. And one of the most important things is increased safety. Cycling is generally a safe mode of transportation, especially when compared to driving. In addition, cycling can reduce the risk of traffic accidents by reducing the numbers of vehicles on the road. 
so it's very important for the cities to create safe and accessible cycling infrastructure, a bike lanes, safe streets and shared spaces, places to stall the bike and much more things which worth to discuss in another video. And the general criteria of quality of the cycling infrastructure is will you let your child to cycle it alone from home to school or somewhere else? If your answer is yes, congratulations! But if it's no, this is probably one of the ways to improve your neighborhood. That's all for a moment. If you liked this video, please hit the subscribe button and leave your comments. And also visit our Patreon page where you can support our channel. See you in the next videos.